Microsoft is trying its best to bring AI to the desktop. Very recently, they have announced this AI toolkit for VS Code. VS Code is probably one of the most used code editor out there, especially in Windows. In this video, we will be installing this AI toolkit from Microsoft and integrate it with VS Code. It is just an extension within VS Code. And this AI toolkit enables you to download fine tune the models locally on your system within this VS code. So let's get started. If you have never used VS code, go to code.visualstudio.com and download it for windows. When you click on this link, you'll be presented with this screen. It should automatically download the VS code on your system. If it doesn't just click on this link and it will install it here. So I already have downloaded it just now on the left hand side, you see that there is the second last menu item called as extensions click here and you will be presented with this screen simply type ai toolkit here in this search box let me do it again for you so ai toolkit and then wait for a second and you see that there is ai toolkit at the top publisher is microsoft so make sure that publisher is there and click on install Okay, you just install the pre-release, that is fine. It's a very, very new, so soon you might not see this warning. Let's wait for it to get installed. And you see that now this AI toolkit is installed. Don't switch to release version because it's not available as of yet. And this is all there is to it in order to get it installed and integrate it with VS Code. And now let's see how to use it. And once, you in and once you install it, you will see th this icon on the very left, which says AI Toolkit. Just click on it. And then it is just giving you some of the um, stuff here. It says that it wants to sign into the using the GitHub. So just allow it. And then you can select Microsoft Edge. Just click OK here. And that is going to take you to the GitHub site. Let me log in with my username and password. This is just for the authentication. And as soon as I have signed in, you see that in the terminal, it has started some agent here, which is used for using this model playground. On the left hand side, you see there are a couple of resources. One is model playground and the other one is model fine tuning. So let's first click on this model playground. And once you click here, it is opening that playground on the right hand side you can select various models context information and all that stuff and now in order to get the model you see on the left hand side at the top there is a model catalog click here and then these are the available models like from mistral and a lot of others from hugging face so for example i'll just go with one of the microsoft's own smallest one this 53 mini 4k cpu you can select whatever you like i'm just going to click on download here and you see that in the terminal it is showing you that it is downloading and on also on the right hand side in this video let me try to make it slightly bigger so that you'll be able to see it more properly you know it's not fitting in the screen anyway so let's wait for it to download and then we will play around with it So this took a bit of a time, but now the model is downloaded as you can see. And now you can simply click here, load in playground. And then it is going to load it in your playground. And if you see on the right hand side, it is loading the model. Now, just to be upfront, you would need a GPU on your system in order to run this. So in this system, I have one GPU card of 20 GB of VRAM. So if you don't have it, please search it out. Some models will run on CPU. So you can always try it out. Maybe this 53 Mini would run on GPU and also make sure that you have plenty of RAM. I would highly suggest you have 32 GB of memory RAM on your system. This is what I have right now. Okay, so you see that the model is loaded. You can just give it some context here. And on the right hand side, you can just give it some of the temperature. It is right now selected to uh, 1 which is which means it will be very creative in creating the answers then we have top p which is a probability this is this controls your output and then we have some other penalties where it will we will penalize the model if we if it generates something different from it 
I'll just keep it as is i'm not going to change it and then the response length or uh, output token length is 256 and tokens is word or sentences which model returns okay now let's talk with model all you need to do is to just click here in this text box and talk with it you can uh, ask it what is happiness let's wait for it and this model is running locally on your system and this response will depend upon the speed of it will depend upon of course your gpu your local system resources and in the terminal window you can also check out what are the statistics of the response how much time it is taking and all that stuff and by the way this o and then x is a runtime which it is using and o and then x stands for open neural network exchange and it's an open format to represent trained neural networks and it is primarily used for interoperability between different frameworks platforms and tools so this is what it is using behind the scene it has responded back and you can see that this is the system's output you can ask it any other questions you can for example embed it in your own code um, you can ask it to write a code for you so let me ask it that i'm just going to ask it write me a python function to reverse a list it's not a code model Phi 3 mini but of course you can select any coding model too if you like of course there you go so there is a python function that reverses a list let's wait for it to print out and you see that it has almost generated the code let me make it slightly bigger there you go so this has generated the code and you can simply click on this gear to stop the generation so this is our code in a very nicely written markdown fashion and you can also do the model fine tuning with this which i will create another video because it's a slightly bigger topic and i will cover the fine tuning in my next video so stay tuned for it now one thing i wanted to show you is this that in order for this to run as i mentioned earlier you would need a gpu you would also need to install this linux on windows with wsl and don't worry it's not that hard just open up your powershell just type here and then on the bottom left type powershell right click here run as administrator and then in this window all you need to do is to type this command wsl space dash dash install and it is going to install it on your local system this is a prerequisite in order to run this so because most of these models they there are some tasks they need uh, it also you can run them remotely using the cloud resources and soon i think you can also embed a lot of other local models but for now for starters i think this should be enough so all in all in my opinion a really great release where you can simply run and fine tune your models locally on windows by using vs code and as i mentioned earlier in the next video i am going to show you how you can do the fine tuning on your own data um, with the local models in the vs code editor itself that's it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching